malnutrition, but we have to remember that malnutrition doesn't just include undernutrition, it's malnutrition in all its forms. And, and many of the people that we see uh, with obesity across the world uh, have a diet that is rich in calories, but low in quality. Uh, and I think it's going to be very important. And I can see so many uh, potential uh, positive impacts coming from, from this that are going to help us in uh, the fight uh, against obesity. Um, we recognised some work that we did with the Lancet Commission a, a few years ago, uh, that obesity and malnutrition and climate change are, are, are all linked. And if we're going to make a difference to this uh, really important clinical problem, we're going to have to address all of these uh, together. And that means a systems-based approach. There isn't a, a simple answer to this. Uh, part of it is related to ultra processed food, high energy density food. We know this from clinical studies as well as from epidemiological studies. And, and so actually shifting uh, to a more sustainable, uh, perhaps more locally produced, more wholesome diet is likely to be uh, good for people's health and particularly likely to help us with obesity. But the strategies aren't just going to be around that. They're going to include educational strategies, uh, maybe uh, governments are going to have to think about uh, how they uh, limit uh, or control uh, the marketing of some of the unhealthy of foods. And these are these policies have been tested or are being tested in some countries, including in the UK. The taxation is, is another uh, fiscal approach that might help. Um, and we also have to think about public procurement. Many, many of us work in the public sector and, and uh, some of the food that is provided for us through government departments of course, could probably be healthier than it is at the moment. And so overall, I think if we're going to help tackle the problem of obesity, there is a huge alignment with uh, the work that uh, is being done in relation to this summit and the outcomes of this summit. Uh, and I think if we can get locally produced, more sustainable food, it's much more likely to be healthy for the population. And I think it will reduce uh, the pressure to increase obesity in the population, as well as reducing many of the uh, related complications that I've already mentioned.